Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys some example footage that I edited with a new plugin that's going to be coming out soon. The nice people over at Dehancer reached out to me about wanting to try out their plugin that's going to be coming out soon. And so I tried to grab some footage from multiple different projects that I've shot and really jump into the plugin. Um, and just kind of test it out for what it is. So Dehancer gives you film profiles. So like Kodak Vision films, um, some 35 millimeter or medium format, like photography film looks. So you can get like Fuji Superior 1600, Pro 400H, Vision 3 500T, 200T, 50D, um, Cine Still 800T. And along with those um multiple choices in the film emulations you also can adjust vignetting halation so you can get that um that look like cine still 800t gives you or 50d or any cine still film gives you with the the uh, rim jet removed you can also adjust bloom so you can get that look like a promise filter or a moment cine bloom filter gives you um it adds a softness to the light. So you can adjust the intensity of that as well. You can adjust the film grain within this. And the nice thing about this is I've noticed that I've shot most of the films that they have in their list. And a lot of them are really spot on. I really enjoyed being able to get that 800 T look on my video footage, as well as the look from um, vision um three films that they have on this as well they come in really close almost spot on to the film that i've shot through my photography cameras so um now i have no um no samples of like actual vision video film but i have shot it through a my nikon f4 um because somebody packaged it into a 35 millimeter canister so i shot that as a photo film and not a video film, but the colors come in spot on on that one. So it was kind of cool to go through and test my footage with the multiple um, adjustments that you can make with the halations and the bloom and the grain and trying out the different color profiles in the film list. So with that said, I'm gonna show you guys some sample stuff here. Um, I start off with the, the C-Log3 footage and then you'll see a Rec 709 is added to the added onto the footage and then after that you will see as labeled what film emulation that i used on that footage so here it is So I use this plugin in Premiere Pro. You can use it in other programs as well, but I use Premiere Pro um, for all of my work. So one thing that I really liked about this is using the plugin did not like slow down Premiere Pro. It didn't overwhelm it. It didn't cause my computer to turn on an external fan to keep it cool while I was using this plugin. The plugin almost worked seamlessly with how any other effect would work in the effects panel on Premiere Pro. So that was nice, being able to use it without it really bogging down the program um, was a huge benefit because sometimes you use plugins or you use effects or you bring in other outsourced items into Premiere Pro and it could really bog it down and your playback can be really laggy. But with using Dehancer, it worked flawlessly. It was almost like it was part of the program when you originally bought Premiere Pro. So that was nice. Um, I also really liked how simple it was, how easy it was to find 
all the effects that you wanted to adjust within the clip that's right there in your uh, effects panel wherever you have that in your Premiere Pro workspace. Um, and it, anytime you made an adjustment, you would see it very quickly on the actual footage. So there was no lag with making adjustments or anything like that. So with that said, I really enjoyed this. I can't wait to dive into it more and really just keep messing around with all the settings and really see the full potential within this program. Um, so thank you again to the awesome people at Dehancer and I will see you guys next time.